history suggests again posted by vidya uh, that dash of wealth in too few hands lead to social pressure that will either be addressed through politics or violence or both okay okay history suggests that dash of wealth in too few hands okay dash of wealth in too few hands okay so we are talking about wealth being uh, not equally distributed some people have a lot of cash and some people have very less cash okay so that is unequal distribution of cash which will be resolved addressed how like what is happening in india it is either being resolved with politics or violence or both we can clearly relate to this statement right so what should be the right word okay history suggests that dash of wealth okay we are looking for unequal distribution of wealth right so something that talks about unequal distribution of wealth okay now dilution of wealth a dilution is just um, lessening the effect of something okay when the effect of something becomes lessened uh, is dilution of wealth okay now how will it be dilution um, shubham is saying it will be dilution how will it be dilution uh, please uh, tell me that then apprehension what is the meaning of the word apprehension it means anxiety or fear okay uh, or fear okay there are two meaning now you must have studied appre uh, apprehend this passage or something like that that also means it also means understanding okay uh, it has two meaning and both are very different from each other anyways anxiety or fear that something bad will happen okay so basically anxiety alarm or worry or something like that okay and the second meaning is understanding i could not apprehend what he was saying i could not understand what he was saying so apprehension means both fear that is anxiety of something bad is going to happen it also means understanding something okay or comprehending something i don't know demarcation so i choose dilution which fits well okay um how does it fit well that's what is my question okay so let's yes let's uh, go by the weak link we will eliminate options okay the obviousness of wealth in too few hands it nothing is obvious about it so d is definitely eliminated what is the meaning of demarcation anyone who knows the meaning of demarcation okay uh, where is the word where is the word demarcation it is the action of basically boundaries okay fixing a boundary of fixing demark okay mark if you can see from mark it means marking something right so fixing the action of fixing oh. or limits of something right that's the meaning of demarcation so separation distinction all these are synonyms okay so history suggests that demarcation of wealth in too few hands yes we are talking about uh why is c eliminated c is okay b and d is a, apprehension is also not the word yes so if you look at demarcation it fits completely absolutely fine we are talking about limiting of wealth in too few hands okay limiting of wealth in too few hands so demarcation of wealth is the right answer now what is the meaning of dilution i i don't know how many of you are sure about the meaning because most of you said dilution so let's help me understand what is the meaning of dilution i think i have 
discussed this word before. It is making something, uh, like I said, weaken something, okay, or make something uh, less effective, right? So that is dilution. How will uh, history suggest that dilution of wealth in too few hands? We are not diluting wealth, okay? We are not making wealth weaker. We are talking about fixing a boundary, all right? So that's why it will be demarcation. All right, so the right answer is option C, that is demarcation. C is the right answer. Uh, don't touch those snakes. Uh, the dash venom is dangerous. Okay. Don't touch those snakes. The dash venom is dangerous. So you are supposed to tell us which one would it be. Now this is, it should be like this. Okay. The first sentence has plural words, snakes. Does it mean the second sentence should also have plural? Now, let, let us understand the statement. What happened to the why are you... What went wrong? Did I say something wrong? No, the statement is absolutely fine. Good effort there, but just a small minute errors. Okay. So correct it once again and then you can post it. I'll upload that time probably. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, don't touch those snakes. Okay. We are referring to, we are demonstrating over here. Which snakes are we talking about? Those snakes. So I am definitely demonstrating something. Right? Demonstrating these, those, these are demonstrative pronouns, right? So these and those. So we are referring to a specific group of snakes, right? We are not referring to any snake. We are referring to a specific group of snakes. So don't touch those snakes. The dash venom is dangerous. So again, we are talking about the. We have used the article the over here. When we are using the article the, that means we are talking about a particular person or thing, right? So the dash venom is dangerous. So thus, since it is plural over here, the snakes is plural and we are referring to the same snakes, dash is dangerous. So we will use the snakes because it is plural form and when we have to put an apostrophe in plural form, we put it after the S. Okay. It is, it will be the last one, C. Not A, not B, C. Because here it is plural, right? We are referring to these snakes. And again, we are referring to the. If uh, if I had replaced it with a dash, is, venom is dangerous. Then I could have said uh, a snake's venom is dangerous. I could have used this. But we are referring to the same set of snakes that we referred in the previous statement. That's why we will be using the and Oh, sorry, that why, that's why we'll be using the plural and as well as uh, in the possessive pronoun. Second statement is general, ma'am, mean. Okay. I'm sorry, Uday, I did not understand the question that you have posted, ma'am. Uh, apostrophe S. Uh, means is es means plural. I did not understand that. Uh, okay, now apostrophe something about apostrophe. We use apostrophe for two situations, right? Just a little brief about apostrophes. One is when we are referring to a uh, to a possessive pronoun, right? Uh, uh, possessive. Okay, uh, scenarios. For example, if I uh, have to say uh, I'm going to Rita's house, I will use apostrophe S, right? Shows possession. Whose house am I going to? Rita's house, right? <clears throat> now, the second use of uh, uh, apostrophe is when we contract words, okay? For, con um, for words that are contracted. For example, can't, we use cannot, the contracted form is can't right so these are the two scenarios where you use apostrophe now what do we do in a situation this is for singular right rita is singular so we are using apostrophe over there after rita apostrophe and then s now what if the situation is where we are we are referring to more than one person or object 
then we use the plural form of the word for example here it is snake the plural form is snakes and then we put the apostrophe student the plural form is students and then we put the apostrophe right okay now what if the possessive noun uh, the noun okay not possessive noun the noun uh, if it ends with an s so will we use uh, like uh, ross or even for that exam okay this is how the conversion go if we have to make anything into possessive we will put an apostrophe generally where after the name right now if the name is something like ross it still goes after the s because the name is till here and then you will put ross's house okay now what happens when we make it plural snake and if you are referring to more than this is how it is done the brochure of the hotel seems to be substandard but we should not judge the book by its a book by its cover not the book okay when you say the book it becomes particular book okay so with that please take care of your articles keats poem or again it will be keats poem k e a t s apostrophe s because his name is keats okay it's not in the plural form judging a book by its cover should be treated as as a criminal offense yes kala that that is correct uh, as a criminal offense oh i'm sorry i forgot your name uh, what was your name again the person who made the statement judging a book by its cover should be treated as a criminal offense i forgot your name what happened jamuli why are you giving me so many exclamatory marks all right so if this concept if this mamta okay mamta yes so yes uh, the statement is absolutely fine only uh, an article is missing over there before criminal it should be a uh. okay as one of the criminal offense you do not want so you have to mention as a criminal offense not just as criminal offense okay all right so if this is clear ma'am explain the meaning of idiom come hell or high water okay i will be de dealing with that idiom as well um first before that come hell or high water is okay um before that before we go to that idiom all right let me just uh, write that down come hell or high water okay so as you know the idiom itself what does it uh, mean come if i say uh, i will be able to complete i think we have discussed this idiom before if i say i will be able to complete the uh, assignment come hell or high water what does it mean that means no matter what happens right uh, oh, no matter what happens or what difficulty it might uh, no no matter what okay no matter what the circumstances is no matter what the situation is i will be able to finish whatever i have done so come hell or high water means uh, no matter what the difficulties are no matter what the scenario is no matter how many 
how many pro problematic situations I have to face, I will still be going ahead with this plan or this idea or whatever it is.